Crooks here with Sin Shop. Uh, we're the hackerspace in Las Vegas. I have Bill here. Hi. And today we're going to be working on holding up a frame for Project Nomad. Absolutely. So. What setting were you trying? Uh, that was max one and max two. And basically, it just blew right through the metal. But I was going pretty slow. So I'm trying to see how much penetration I can get. But if I did it on min, all it does is beat up on top. So I know that's too small. So. What yeah, max, do... max one seemed to work best for me. Okay. Let me try min two just, just to see if there's a difference. Min two. For the speed that I like to, I like it well. Okay. Because you you can't go too fast, or you never get any penetration. So. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. See if you if you're if you're when I was on uh, max one here, I was going to I'm only going about this fast. It's going really really slow, and it just blew right through that. So that was too much. Mm -hmm. And then. Min one, all they did was beat up like this, and it didn't. You can see it's just sitting on top. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is min two, and it started out a little, little crappy here. But as soon as I got down to this side on this end, and it stopped sparking all over the place, you can see the weld is much better. So that's probably the way where it needs to be. Okay. I'm gonna try it again. Give myself a little time to play with this.
the bracket I welded up for my entertainment center, I forgot to do that until it was too late. And so <laughs> it's just slightly out of square. Yeah, I've but that happened in the past. So yeah. That's how you learn though. And once it's welded in place you can't really do much. <laughs> Especially when it's like uh, has all the bracing on the one. I know, by that time it's too late. Way, way, way. Because these back wheels are not super great. Right. And have the back wheels in the flow. Everything's a hammer. Yeah, pretty good. And amazingly enough, they still work as the tool they were designed for, too. So you have lots of little pieces of wire all over the place. Oh, it always happens when you're welding. Well, that one was on sale for 
since that's kind of a name brand everyone knows. And some of them are pretty good. Uh, I've got, that's the one I have out in the Jeep, so if you want, I'm bringing in. Sure. But it's going to spark all over the place because it's just powerful. Yeah, this is a Chicago electric. Not quite the same. <laughs> Yeah, when I was uh, grinding the, uh, the D12 and the D20, there was a crap load of uh, grinding I had to do that. So, so after a while, my, my, just my hands just felt like they were grinding oh, yeah. well after I was done grinding. Oh, yeah, that looks like that's the side here. Probably, it's probably not the tack, but it's the, uh, the trauma that fixes. Because I know the second I start welding, it's going to work. Because I need to get it placed first. We could clamp it to the table. Um, well, it's not that, it's just that the, the heat is going to warp it no matter what we do. It's just how to control it. 
you want to uh, clamp it to the bottom of the PVP and then... Well, you, 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 you clamp it to the bottom of this, mm -hmm. if I get the heat and, and in certain places, it will still warp and you take it off and you just uh, twist out like a spring. So it's not really going to make that much of a difference. I'm trying to remember what, how do you fix stuff like that? It's usually just small, short welds. Uh, it was usually a deal, but I don't know if it was an order to it. It doesn't, as I recall, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if I go in a particular order or not. If I go in a spiral, it's just going to turn into a big DNA strand. That's the only reason to like, uh, bolt things and put them together is you can be better at it if you want it to be perfectly square. So, so are you going to this is yeah, it's, it's off. At least it's close. It's just, it's about a nice little It's definitely off. It's not like wood. Once, you, once we make the world of dynamics, it, it's going to be what it is. So I guess we could, we could build it to it or plant it to it. Does your grinder have a cutting wheel? Yeah, my wheel? grinder has a cutting wheel on it right now. Let so. me grind this flat. I'm going to cut it so that can drop over there. I'll cut this one. Grind this one flat. We know that this side kind of goes up at an angle like that. Mm -hmm. So that means this is going up an angle. You just can't see it because it's probably only about 30 seconds of an inch in this end. But because I have it pinned on top and bottom here, right. it's holding this thing up at this angle like this. Okay. So I've got to cut it or make it so it doesn't do that. And then I think I really just need to, if I cut this off and I cut this top one off here, I think we'd probably just push this down. Cut this. We'll do that. So cut these two. Let's try that and see that if that pushes. Like if we push that down, like we tap this right here. All right. And then for getting this paint on, um, yeah, we need a wire wheel. That's probably the easiest one, unless you want to sit there and sand it. I should have brought my wire wheel too. I forgot. Everything, but if 
we're going to guess it right here, it's probably going to go all the way down the sides. down the line. You can see it's like a winding stick. It's 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 looking like a DNA strand. You can look straight across. Oh yeah. That yeah, is high. You can see that it's high, but if you look here on the frame, it looks correct. It's not hard straight. That's why I was trying to figure out. <laughs> Set points on this to the floor. And you see what that gives The other way to do, you could do it would be. Ever seen winding sticks? Seen oh, what? You know, it's, it's the frame. You know what a winding stick is? So if no. you're looking at two points on a on, on a, something that's supposed to be flat, you take two or three known square pieces that are all, all the same, mm -hmm. you set it on there, and you look straight across the top of them, and then you see how far off it goes. So if you assume that these are square, which they appear to be, they're flat, right? And they're also resting on the end here and on the ends here, mm -hmm. and they're the same distance this way, but you look down them, this one right here is up, almost a quarter of an inch.
from here is too high. Yep. Take, take a look down. Just go really flat and just look right across the tops. And you know these two are touching right now. All right. Okay, so if they're all touching, and this is square, and this is square, then these, you should be able to see a flat line all the way across. But what you see is this side being high. Yeah. So something's not right either here or here. Could that be high? Uh, it might be. It's just however they welded the string together. Right. Uh, so we either need to adjust for that or... We can grind down that, that bit and see if that uh, helps. Well, anyway. I'd like to measure it from the ground. Okay. Just to see. Yeah, we just need to pick a, a point where we want to say that it's going to be square from and, and then go. So go ahead and move So that is sitting at 13 and a half. And that is sitting at more than 13 and a half. Ah. Like almost an eighth of an inch more. So probably yeah, an eighth of an inch. That's about what we're seeing. Okay. This is an inch plus, maybe three sixteenths. So the so the frame is that square. Robot frame is yeah, it's probably not square. Right, the section on the form is good. Yeah. Nothing as much there. Alright, yeah, it is. So this side of the ruler has different parts than this side. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's actually 13 and uh, so, so this is basically 16 to an inch off. 16 to an eight. Somewhere it's a kind of a mishmash. So and actually yeah, if you look at this, this goes up higher. Okay, so we have a couple of choices. We can either I would say grind this high spot down. Okay. And then uh, we'll see how that sits. Take that one that we need to. I guess the real question is do I want to recap this again so that it's basically it's a square as flat as we can make it and then use this as the, the you know, measure. So we've been kind of laying everything on this, and really what we need to do is lean off of the two front points instead. So, the front points that you could say that this is... Well, we're right. assuming the front points are square. Yeah, that's true too. Maybe they're not square either. Right. Well, that could be tough. Well, that you're going to press it, so... Yeah, that's, that's actually so rough. But I mean, realistically speaking, from a, from the standpoint of the robot itself, an eighth of an inch twisted this way, that way is not going to matter. It just, you know, what do we want to, do we want to use these points here as our flat, and then know that the top, the front part of this is going to be off on one side and make the a little bit more? Or yeah, I would say get, get these two so we know that those are good. Because those are nice, solid. In fact, I'm just saying that it, um, a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch leaning this way or that way is right. probably not going to make that much of a difference. Well, we know that's off though. So. Well, uh, yeah, I know, but it doesn't matter whether it is or not. If this is, if we can get this flat, mm -hmm. okay, and we know that over here there's going to be one and we have to gust it higher because for whatever reason, you know, all the way down the line over this side, it's not bent exactly properly. Yeah. So. I still want to. Right take that one down. Take that one down. That, that's okay. over, over, over a foot that, that has a significant. Oh, this is the key that cool.
sides a little high yet. Cleaning that out? Oh yeah. There's a, a mid rollers. It helps with the tip is clean. So you just brush off all the crap off of it. And it really helps if this is not uh, it doesn't have a lot of spatter on the inside because it, it uh, obviously it's a shield for gas. Right. So you want to make sure everything's kind of cleaned out and doesn't have to hold it up. It just slides on. The other thing I have to agree with is that if the tip, that, the copper part right there, is about flush with this part right here, it will be that the gas flows around it. But they're all different, so you know, you've got to make sure you have at least an extra one just to cut loose. Right, now I do not. So. Okay. Otherwise, I'm pulling up the spare line right there. Yeah. Yeah. At some point, I don't know if this uh, the wire can be closed or not, because it has a sheet on it inside of here. Uh, kind of it goes from basically here to the uh, lower, right. and also there's just a, you know, a, uh, a line located that she, uh, they have special reasons. That I don't know if you can replace it with a can, but you've always got a gun, uh, and that'll actually help. It'll help. It should help the building in general, just to have a little bit of a gun. I think this is okay. This looks pretty good. Nice. It's no problem with this one. I didn't get that well since I had it, so nice. <laughs> it's doing okay. So we're flat with it right now? Yeah. Okay. In theory. In theory. <laughs> well, this is also not flat because now it's all damn my shit, but you can at least put it on there and just see. Yeah, 
Okay, so then there is about an eight inch gap on this side that's about eight. Okay. Okay. So well, yeah, this side looks a little high. Yeah, I, I'm sure what it is is that when they bend, when they bend these things <coughs> the wheels, it's not a precise process. Right. So maybe this one here got cut off short and just pulled back that eight inch, in, so as it sweeps down like this, I'm going to lose it. So, but at least it's me that I'm happy with. <coughs> and people look at the way looking at people in the culture. <laughs> Otherwise, go, man, that chair is really up. Okay. Can we plan this? That was this? a joke in your head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Only the tech people would get that joke. Um, can we uh, plan this to the table saw? So? Yeah. So you just go ahead and finish up the task and make sure it's flat.
how wide the wire feeds like one and a half right now. It's not very high. It doesn't need to be. Yeah. Because you really, because like the um, last taps that we held here, they're noticeably flatter, and you see the penetration's better. Hmm. So. For your ground. Is that? Your ground. Oh, yeah, I can say you so. I've been doing it about three seconds. Okay, yeah, looking through the welding mask, yeah, I can see how you're kind of going back and forth a little slowly. Yeah, did you see how I took that uh, the spot weld? You know, just basically incorporated it. Okay. So, if you got the wire feed set to the right, it, uh, it won't over bolt it, basically, so you won't get like an extra thing on it. The other reason that I keep cutting off the tip is because when you get that slide right. on here, it doesn't, the connection doesn't work very well. Yeah, I, I always do that. It's usually good to do it right before you start a new build. And that works out pretty good. But like some of these are a little high, so I'm not 100% sure, but I think we'll have good penetration on either side of this, so it should be okay. Mm -hmm. And realistically speaking, if I do my welds right and they're strong, we won't need to go up here into the vessel part all right. at all, because it should be strong enough to hold it on either end, because this is not really, I mean, it's, it was quarter inch material, and you had a lot of weight on it, and a lot of well, most of the weight's on that middle joint. You might want to okay. make that one just a bit stronger, just to be certain. Yeah, this one I would say, okay, we can do that one, build the size on that. When I yeah, at the corners, they're bolted to the underside of the chassis, so. Right. I think they'll be okay. The easy way to tell is if we got to get penetration on this is once we find it's flat. Because mm -hmm. we'll have to do it at least on one side to make sure it fits on the chassis. Right. Uh, once you find it flat, you'll be able to see whether I got pits and holes and stuff like that. If I do, we'll have to go back over it and reload it and then you find it. But yeah, you can go over a well a couple of times. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. It really doesn't affect the, uh, the uh, overall strength of the wall.